More details are emerging about the victims of a triple murder in western Westmoreland last night. The killings have left a community distraught for at least five children without a father and an official pleading for answers. Herman Green reports. Less than 24 hours after the sound of gunfire pierced the night's ear in Crowder, Grange Hill, Westmoreland, residents are still in shock. It's understood that around 11 o'clock Wednesday night, heavily armed men went to this yard and opened gunfire on persons in the yard and inside this wooden house. When the shooting subsided, three people were found dead. 21-year-old Christopher Scott and 28-year-old Akeem Bent were found inside the house, while 36-year-old Chriselle Hudson was found outside. Hudson's sister, Avia, explains that her brother's death is especially hard for his children. There is no word to describe how, I'm, how I feel about my brother and losing a good brother. A brother that I've never ever met in anything, hard working, died leave five children. How are those kids are going to cope knowing that they are losing their father at such a tender age? The eldest of the five children is 17. Western Westmoreland MP Marland Wilson believes it will be devastating for them all, especially the eldest. It's another tragic loss for the community. Um, the, the fact that he had a 17-year-old son, this would, would of course be been, been quite traumatic on, on such an individual to know that he, he lost his father and the breadwinner for the family. The relatives of the other men were too traumatized to speak with us. Up to news time, the police still hadn't determined a motive for the murders. Mr. Wilson is, however, urging the cops to act quickly. I would want to say to the police to put whatever resources you have available to put quick closure to this. Um, we don't want this womb and we don't want any reprisal. Um, we know that in cases such as this, um, the possibility of such thing is very high. So uh, it's unfortunate that his son has now lost a father and I'm hoping that we come to some some investigation is done speedily so we can put some closure to it as quickly as possible. Herman Green, TVJ News.